Yes, I have been finally able to buy a Mimi coin into their first minute. So the kind of thing that all of us are dreaming, because we know Mimi coins can do even 100, 200, 1000 X. So imagine you have even just $100 multiplied by 1000. Well, it's a pretty much a good amount. But is it really possible to make this money? Well, I tried it out and I will tell you exactly how much money did I make just buying this Mimi coin into the first minute. Stay tuned because in this video we'll also reveal you which is the real way of approaching Mimi coins and what is the opportunity, I think it's pretty clear what it is, but also which is the counterparty and what you should take in account in order to be sure that you are able to make money. Before to start up, guys, let me say that this channel is about educational content, nothing has to be in Chinese financial advice. What I'm trying to do is help you to navigate this market, but nothing is an advice. And guys, if you want to know more about us, check out our Twitter account and also our weekly newsletter. I just published yesterday in a recap about four different airdrops, four different platforms that are having a token or maybe they are just launching and the strategy to be able to catch them. And check it out or, or both on, on Twitter or our weekly newsletter because I have just published it. Okay, guys, we are ready to start. And don't forget, please leave us a big thumbs up. That's something that is just a small effort for you, but really helps us a lot. Okay, let's jump into the topic. And I want to start showing you the chart of the first couple of minutes of this Mimicon. And here it is the chart. So as you can see, I'm hiding for now the name of the Mimic coin because that's not a focus and I want you to just uh, jumping and searching it right now. I will explain the full story and there are a couple of tricks and there is also a specific reason why I'm not revealing it right now. But as you can see, the chart looks pretty amazing. And if we do some math, we will see that just in the first minute we had a spike about a 90x, 90x. In just a couple of minutes, we have gone up by 118x. So yes, we are talking about a Mimi coin that made. So one of the amazing ones that is that has been able to do at least 100x. But how did it continue? It has been able to pump even more. Let's discover together. So if we are broadening the scope, you will see that yes, guys, look at this thing here it made something like 203x. So let's suppose that you were putting like me because I was around 0.8 sold. So it means around $80. So $80 multiplied by 200x, guess what? It makes around 16,000. So that's a pretty, a lot of money. But have I really been able to earn so much? Well, it's a little bit more tricky. First of, all, first of all, because we have to understand which was the price that I bought. Uh, that I buy. Second, at which price I have been able to sell. But looking for the chart, you can see that from this spike to here, there is at least a couple of X, and the price also remained for another couple of minutes above each. And if we, if we look at it after, it has been steady for at least around 30 minutes. Unfortunately, there is a trick. A trick that I was suspecting since the beginning, to be fair. But uh, the, this was something that I wanted to try. Because remember one thing, guys. Once there is knowing something, knowing something is something that you know by your mind, by uh, reasoning. But another story is try it. When you try that something that your body will start to feel it, you will start feeling the pain or the joy for earning money. And that's something that I wanted to try with this experience. That's also the reason why I put like $80 that is not like $1 just is something. Okay, $1, it's like a game. $80 is not so much, but it's still something that is better to go out for having a dinner instead of just putting $80 into a Mimi coin. So how much did I earn for real? Well, I want to do a step back saying you that this Mimi coin was launched as a fair launch. What does it mean? It means that nobody received in advance tokens. So there, there wasn't any kind of airdrop. So there was not an allocation for, I don't know, anyone who was uh, holding analogs or bonk or any other Mimi coins. 
this uh, yeah, all these coins for example analos analos was a, a meme coin or is still a meme coin because it's still trying to survive and push it again that started with an airdrop so all the holders of specific coins received an airdrop and if from one side you can think well the counter effect is that many people are just receiving for free so the selling pressure could be much higher because the average entry price is obviously much lower on the other side the problem with fair launch is that how do you really fair let's discover it together through this uh, case study because as you will understand it well it's not so fair so it's now time to reveal you which is the meme coin that i'm talking about and this meme coin is called love cat and it was something that i discovered through um, a live ama on twitter here uh, run by analos and uh, got beat uh, as you know, probably analysts made many live on Twitter. And in one of them, at a certain point, someone asked, which is the best strategy to launch Mimicoin? And he was looking like serious at the beginning. And I looked at the logo, it was like, hmm, this logo looks like really Mimicoin. So let's try to click on it. I clicked on it and I saw, oh my God, this profile was just launched in that moment. And while I was checking it, the guy that was talking said also, yes, because I'm asking because tomorrow we are planning to launch it. And I want to hear also from you that have been so successful, which are the tricks? And I said, hmm, I'm suspecting that they are just using this question as a trick to like a growth hacker a trick to in order to acquire more people. So what I did is clicking on their Telegram account and I was literally the 10th. So it was just about 10 people before me that will, uh, have been able to join that group. So I said, oh my God, that's amazing. Tomorrow is launching and we are just 10 of us. So it should be pretty interesting as a situation. What happened in the next couple of hours was that the community grown a lot and it has gone from just 10 of us to around 4,000. That's literally the amount of people that were into that community at uh, the moment of the launch, 4,000 people. So we are literally talking about a lot of people. If you're wondering how they managed to do that, well, basically the trick uh, about the AMA on uh, Twitter was noticed by many other influencers. I don't know if they were also paid, it doesn't matter the end of the story, that's pretty common to see influencers receiving an allocation just to spread the word and, uh, and uh, so on. If the point is that what is interesting for us is that many people started to know about the project and join the uh, Telegram account. And to be fully honest, I was pretty excited too because it's not something that is so common to be into the group at the beginning. And I would say, oh my God, that's an opportunity and let's see how it goes. And what I said is that launch, as you can see from also uh, the screenshot, official launch time, December 17, and they shared also time zone uh, with the time, the right time in a different time zone. So pretty, also pretty interesting way of helping us to understand which is the real time. So what I did was waiting. I waited for the day. So the 27th was just a day after. And as you can see here, we are not launched yet. Launch is roughly in two hours. So they said us in advance, stay tuned because in two hours will be the launch. As you can see from the uh, second screenshot, if you check it out at the time, you will see that here they told us about 9.10 and the real launch happened just at midnight, uh, seven minutes at least, my time zone, that's the time zone in the, uh, where I was in that moment, it was in Singapore. But there is a trick, check the numbers, check it out, 0 0.07, so at the seventh at the seventh minute. Let's go back to the chart. Do you remember what we were saying? Do you remember that I told you that uh, there is uh, like a, a 100x in the first minute? Yes, because I have been able to buy into the first minute. Unfortunately, I bought into the first minute of the real launch. So now when they launched, it was around midnight, uh, seven minutes past midnight, my time. If we check it out, the chart, you will see that uh, the project uh, weren't launched at uh, 
seven minutes after midnight because if we put a line at uh, uh, seven here it is so in this moment uh, it was announced the project what's the problem the problem is that from here to the moment when we launch when they are launched the project already did something like 120x so i was literally buying after a pump of 120x and if you're wondering well but you saw the chart why did you buy well it's a speed race so in that moment you don't have the time to go on the chart checking the one minute chart and and wondering okay maybe the chart has pumped too much and so on so you don't have that kind of time all you have to do is super fast having everything ready because you are even competing against bots so i didn't check it out my fault but that's unfortunately the, the unfortunate part of this kind of game but let's go deeper because as you can see from the moment of the launch into the first minute we had another around uh, 2x because this candle over here is about uh, not even 2x about uh, 67 percent that is generated by the real demand at that time and if you're wondering how big was the project at that kind of a, a moment it was about 4 million a market cap yes we are talking about a project that in the moment of the launch mimic coin it's even like a, a blockchain layer one in mimic coin at that time had already a, a several million market cap so not a great deal for me to be fair i bought anyway and i have been even lucky because instead of buying literally at the top i bought around at the real price of the launch because i bought around this price over here maybe a little bit lower mainly because my order has been executed instead into the first candle just into the third one around 16 and 9 so nine minutes past my midnight so i had that kind of price so let's check it out what it happened in the next couple of uh, hours. So, so let's put the charge about, uh, we can say an hour uh, chart. And as you can see from the, my price, it is this blue line here. I have always been in a dramatic loss. But what really happened and what the team told us about this inconvenient? Well, as you can see from uh, a screenshot uh, taken directly from uh, the group, Love Cat survives Snipe Launch. Snipe Launch simply means that uh, snipe, uh, uh, Sniper bots bought the uh, token before the launch, or at least before the official launch. We will never know if it happened just through bots, if the token front ran the community, it's something we will never know. At the end of the story, it doesn't really matter because you have to take in account that maybe even the team we are always talking about anonymous team. They can front run you, they can drag you, they can do whatever they want. At the end of the story, they have the whole power and the opportunity is pretty interesting because guess what? Doing it one, 200X, 100X in just a couple of minutes, it's a great opportunity. Imagine transforming like $1,000 into 1 million because if, if you check the volume, the volume in the first couple of minutes was around a couple of million. So we're talking about uh, was about four or five millions so guess what with that kind of volume there is enough space to buy let's say buying a couple of thousands and selling them for even one million so that's an opportunity that many people are saying oh my god that's my way to become rich that's a shortcut that i want to take so that's the reality on the other side even if the team is perfectly legit they are playing in the right way. They are respecting the community. They are trying to push and giving to give everyone the same opportunities. Unfortunately, bots are there. Uh, the reality is that the whole world about bots, snipers, and so on, it is a little bit more complex. I don't want to go deeper too much right now. What I want to make clear to you is that, guys, the reality is that about Mimi coins is that most of the time, most of the times people are losing money. In my case, for example, from $80, I have been able to get and I exited around this level over here. I got around 10, so around 90% of a loss. So that's the kind of loss that you can encounter. Even if you are entering just in the first minute and 
it has been pretty a delusional experience to be fair because i was thinking wow getting in so early i would at least been able to make uh, a couple of pennies. I'm not saying that I, to become rich and getting like uh, one million just through this kind of uh, game. But maybe if I'm getting into the first minute, maybe at least they can pay me like a dinner outside. The reality is that uh, I lost even that dinner. So that's the tricky part of playing with uh, Mimic Coins. So what's the real strategy in order to uh, be profitable through Mimic Coins? Well, first of all, you need to understand which kind of play are you playing for real? And I want to give you the most important rule when it comes to uh, Mimic Coins. I know that most people already left the video, so I will talk about that again into another one. But I want to make you clear for you, uh, the few that are going through the whole video. Remember, guys, always ask yourself, which is the advantage that I have? It is pretty naive to think that everyone can make money. People are, that are making money are people that are having some kind of advantage. Could be a tech advantage because they are having the best uh, bots. Uh, they have machines that are running real time with uh, a milliseconds really um, a lag. That's something that, that is important because if you are so fast, you can take opportunity. You can throw and run out of transactions and so on. Or maybe you have an advantage because you know something that no one else is knowing. Or maybe you are really aware, so you can move the market by yourself and obviously creating and influencing the people perception. Check it out, this chart. If, for example, right now someone is starting to buy, let's see that this chart is pushing above this level. I can assure you that many retailers will start thinking, hmm, maybe it's not just a scam. Maybe it's not just a meme coin that will die tomorrow. Maybe there is still hope and they will start buying again. Imagine the kind of form that can happen in the moment when it is crossing even the all-time high. Everyone will, will be so excited that maybe they will start buying even more. And maybe at the time another listing will come and so on. These kind of cycles could be activated only if you have money. So if you have a lot of money, you can buy, you can create this kind of buying pressure and you can try to push the price higher. If you don't have any of this advantage, tech, knowledge or money, well, how do you pretend to be able to catch this kind of opportunities? Because the, comp the competition is insane. The only way that you can try to do is looking at the chart and literally take advantage of the chart. The chart is never lying to you. Right now, there is no reason to buy this kind of coin. Maybe if there will be some kind of signal from the tech chart, and obviously you have to put together all the pieces because obviously also the chart could be a fake breakout and so on. Why? Because as, as we said, whales are manipulating the market. So they are making something fake on the chart just to push people to take an action in order to take a, a advantage from their side. So as you can see, this, this is pretty complex. And the reason why I made this experiment was literally to create this video in order to give you a real point of view. Try it out. Try to understand why it didn't work and how much money did you make for real. And in the moment when you did it, in the moment when you understand and you ask yourself, what's the advantage that I have? What's the reason? And as you, as you saw by yourself, it's not an advantage being into a Telegram group where there are already 4,000 people. That's literally not an advantage. That's something that can work in some case, but it's not. And this is also about fair lunch. This is something that's pretty common. Fair lunch is something that is not great. A strategy on the other side could be buying different Mimic coins in order to get an, air, an airdrop. We have seen that big Mimic coins are receiving airdrops by uh, other projects. So having a good stack into that, maybe that's a strategy. I'm just uh, thinking out, out loud. I'm not suggesting you to do that. I'm just pushing you to ask yourself, what's the strategy that I'm following? It's not just buying the first minute. It's not just buying a Mimic coin to be successful. Guys, let me know what you think about this thing into the comment section below, and I will see you soon with another video. And yes, if you want to go deeper into meme coins, let me know because it's a super interesting topic, and I will be more than welcome to talk about that. Guys, see you soon. Bye.